on this Christmas Eve, I have a special Lucille Ball story that I have been saving just for tonight. And it happens to be probably my all-time favorite, and I think it just might be something you'll love. It's written by her close friend, Olive e. Martin, and called Santa Was a Redhead, a Lucille Ball Christmas Story. And it's true, by the way. The day before Christmas, four, maybe five years ago, the phone rang and it was Lucy. I got something to do, Lucy said, and I want you to help me. Ten minutes later, she pulled up, picked me up, and we headed for a Christmas tree lot. Lucy bought a Christmas tree, a real beauty. And then we went shopping. She bought all sorts of pretty knickknacks, plus hand lotion, body lotion, dusting powder, shampoo, and perfume. I mean, really just everything dear to the feminine heart and very practical too. And then we went to a gourmet food store where Lucy found some very special champagne and she picked out several hors d'oeuvres, all sorts of hors d'oeuvres. Now, I had no idea what we were doing, and she did not explain. We went to another store and bought Christmas lights and decorations. Now the car was stuffed with trimmings and presents and smelling beautifully of pine. We headed for downtown Hollywood. We stopped finally in front of an apartment building. Well, this is where I need a little help, Lucy said. So between the two of us, we carried up the tree, the packages, and knocked on the door. It took a while before the lady opened it. She was pale, obviously very ill, and without hope. She was Lillian Goodman, who years before had been a top vocal coach to many of the stars. Lucy had been one of them. Now Lillian had become ill and life had lost its meaning for her. What are you doing? She asked as we came in lugging all this stuff. Well, what do you think we're doing? Demanded Lucy. We're decorating your tree. Which we then proceeded to do. And I'll never forget that afternoon for as long as I live because the memory of it is so touching. Lillian Goodman sat there and her face began to change, to shine. Tears were rolling down her cheeks, but they were happy tears. And I just wanted to tell that because I've known people who either were friends with Lucille Ball or they actually worked for Lucy. And I heard many stories similar to this of Lucy's generosity and giving and kindness of the heart. And she didn't expect anything in return. This was just who Lucy was. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. And I wish you all happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. And please like and subscribe my channel. Chuck's Captivating Chronicles.